So thank you for attending this uh, training on Midas FX 2012. During this particular training, we will learn about the nonlinear analysis and how to create some nonlinear material, nonlinear contacts, and uh, use the large deformation uh, for the geometry. So first, let me show you how are done the tutorials of uh, Midas. So here is the example we we will uh, work on. So first, what the the purpose of this tutorial will be, as I said, to create a nonlinear contact between the leaf spring and this uh, board, and uh, and so. Uh, we will use the general contact and after that we will use also the um, the translation uh, feature to, to make the leaf move and deform and after that using the subcase we will make the leaf return to its original position. So as you see, there is the leaf here, uh, when it begins, the analysis is not in contact with the plane. And it will enter in contact uh, after, after the analysis. So we have to use a general contact, which is nonlinear uh, between these two parts. So first we will have to import. So just click on import, import the parts, and uh, we have to uncheck this option because this option will search automatically the faces in contact. But uh, as we will add a manual contact, we will have to do it by yourself. Then we will add a material. So you can see also the tutorials of Midas IT are very simple. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps here. And you, you just have to follow the steps to to uh, assign the nonlinear material. So it's very easy to learn how uh, the software is working. So you just enter a name, select nonlinear, enter these two values, and then the stress train data. Here, the you enter the data uh, of the strain and the stress, and it will uh, show you the curve, the stress strain curve. After that, we will add another material which is rigid for the plane. We will assign this material very easily by right clicking on the model and choosing the material we want. Same for the plate. And after we'll have to define the contact, so first click on contact, choose the manual contact, uh, choose the surface to surface contact, general for the type of the contact. We select the master face, which is the, the, this face of the plane, and the two faces uh, here, which are the slave faces. Then we have to define the contact parameters uh, after that, the boundary conditions, we will pin this uh, plate. Uh, we, will we will block the spring uh, translation in the direction X and uh, Y and Y. Um, and we will assign a 8 mm translation to, to this face to make the spring uh, go, go down. And we'll create another translos, translational displacement, which will make the spring uh, come back to its original position. And um, after that, we we'll just do the auto mesh using the high speed tetra measure. Uh, and then we have to create subcase. Uh, we will create two subcase, one for the 8 mm translation and the other is the initial position. Uh, we will transfer all, uh, so here the initial position 
load will come back here and the 8 millimeter will come back here. Uh, to We have to look the analysis control uh, options that perform the analysis and here is the results you will see for the first step and here for the second step. Let me show you now uh, the results into the Midas NFX. So first uh, let's create a new project. Uh, here is uh, analyst mode, so I will open it into the designer mode. Let's create a new project. Import the leaf spring model here. So have you, uh, as you have seen in the tutorial, the first step will be to create a nonlinear material. So let's change the name here and uh, call it uh, spring for example assign an elastic modules of uh, k 0 0.266 okay then oh sorry I have to choose the nonlinear material Then we choose the strength and strain data curve and here by clicking I will give a name, nonlinear material and then we can enter all the values or you can also uh, take the values from uh, an Excel file and directly enter them into minus NFX. Okay then you choose the nonlinear material you define here apply okay then let's create a rigid material here uh, to 2.5 okay okay now we have to assign these two materials to a part so first I will select this one here material and uh, this one and then material rigid okay it's done next step is to assign the contacts so open the contact Ma uh, and then I use manual contact uh, contact general then I select the master face here and the two faces of the spring which are here okay and then I have to enter these uh, values so I will call it friction uh, this one is okay and here 0 0.3 okay select friction it's done now we can verify that the contact has been defined so here we have the manual contact between these two parts perfect next step is to fix this uh, plate okay so support, well, we select these two edges, pin, apply, okay, it's done. And now uh, I said I have to fix the translation of uh, this face, so user define, okay, I fix these two translations, and okay, it's done. And now the next step is to assign a translational displacement which I will call uh, 8 millimeter translation. Let's select this face and select, select minus 8.
okay. Same for um, the initial position. Okay. Now the meshing. So auto mesh, select the two parts, high speed tetra mesher. Okay. Okay, it's done. Uh, now let's create the subcases. So first, uh, leaf spring. Uh, the nonlinear static analysis um, and create a new subcase, okay, which are, I will call the initial position. Okay, let's give another name to the first subcase by clicking on F2 and uh, calling it 8mm translation. Okay, and then I have to uh, drag and drop this and this one. Okay, so during the first subcase, the leaf spring will go down of eight millimeter, and during the second subcase, it will uh, go up again and return to its uh, initial position. In the uh, analysis control options you can see you can define the number of increments you want to use uh, the conversions criteria and we have to check this option which is the geometry nonlinear because we have large uh, deformation and now it's done we can uh, run the analysis perform okay leaf spring okay leaf spring 4 okay then the analysis is going on okay the analysis is now over uh, it took a uh, hundred seconds approximately and now we can look at the results so we have you see we have the two subcases the first one and uh, we can first save and uh, load again okay and now we can see the animation in fact so you see here the spring is um, going down you can view uh, with and uh, let's say we want to see the plastic deformation plastic strain we can add uh, we can add some uh, analysis results and here you can see very well the plastic strain which is And now this is a second uh, subcase, so the spring is coming back to its original position, but you can see that um, it didn't recover its original shape because of the plastic strain, which uh, is still uh, inside the the spring okay so thank you for for viewing this uh, tra training on the nonlinear contacts 
and uh, I hope you will join the next training and also as you have seen at the beginning um, we have a lot of uh, tutorials so if you need some particular training on one subject you can send us a mail and we will give you the tutorials you need to solve your problem very easily and uh, so so I hope uh, you will enjoy learning Midas NFX. Thank you very much again.